Remember, Roosevelt, at the start, was a very conservative president. People don't realize that. Uh, I think we should dwell on this a bit. This is rather important and little known. Uh, he was. He was a very... In the first place, he was a very prudent governor of New York. His, uh, he balanced his budget. He was not a spender. He didn't believe in spending. And we resisted all of the efforts of some of the radicals like La Follette and Tugwell and the rest to... Uh, to spend a lot of money in public works because he said uh, there aren't more than a billion dollars worth of public works that are worth doing. They wanted five billion dollars. Uh, and uh, so he compromised and took three, three, three billion, three hundred million, which was a split between what he said, what they wanted and what he said was the uh, Possible. Well, this leads to a rather intriguing point. What led to this change, you know, later on the phrase, spend, 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 and elect, 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 wasn't that the phrase? It was, yes. That was a phrase that was uh, uh, attributed to Hopkins. <clears throat> and those fellows were always wanting to spend more. And finally, he, believed, he went along with them. I, I began to have doubts about 1935 and had many arguments with him. And on into 1936, and finally in 36, in the middle of the year, I quit. And I never went back to him again. What was, uh, uh, this is perhaps difficult, uh, <coughs> what was, as you and he had this dialogue, this encounter, he was trying to persuade you to stick with him, is that it? He did at the end, yes, in 36. But I couldn't do it. Uh... He was a proud man, and it was very difficult for him to make that request, but he did. But I couldn't do it. I, 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 I didn't like the direction he was going. He was turning into a demagogue. Raymond Moley, recalling. <laughs>